In this video, I'm going to be comparing our h &P notebook as well as our progress notebook. And so each of these have a very specific purpose. So our h &P notebook is really designed for the outpatient setting, the ED setting, or your very first initial counter in an inpatient setting. It can be used in many different situations, but those are really what we design them for. Whereas your progress notebook is really designed for the inpatient setting. And you'll see why in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare, uh, well, first off, what I'll do is I'll show you the H&P notebook okay so our H&P notebook is just really going to be two pages for each template it's going to have your common things like your HPI past medical history family history meds allergies review of system physical exam and then your typical labs and your assessment and plan and so this will guide you through both the interview as well as delivering the interview okay you'll see on the next page it's just going to be a repeat so every template is two pages so there's no more progress template. There's no, no additional thing besides just the H and P. We're going to contrast that to our progress notebook where when we flip it open, it's going to have a fairly similar template for our H and P. You'll notice it's slightly different in terms of what we called things, what we allotted in terms of room based off what we found to be the most necessary. The, the biggest difference that you'll notice is some of the things have been rearranged and that's, that's fine. But um, you'll see our problem list is going to be much bigger because typically these inpatients have much bigger problem lists than your outpatient setting or, or your ED or whatever it may be. So we have a little bit more room for the problem list. In addition, your to-do is going to be much bigger because especially when you first admit a patient, the to-do is going to be a lot of things to do. And we also added a section for the inpatient bundle. Things that you should remember in terms of when you're putting in orders, okay, uh, do they have a Foley uh, or do we need to put in a Foley? Um, do we have DVT prophylaxis? Did we put in all the GI prophylaxis? Um, things like that. Okay, so that's more for when you're actually either giving a presentation right before you can kind of make sure you have that and also when you're putting in orders. What you'll see is gonna be different is gonna be the next two pages. And so with each of these, you're gonna have a four day soap note. So this is day one, this is day two, say three and day four okay and so with each of these you're going to have sent a one-liner for the patient you're going to have what is there any type of events that happen overnight subjective objective their physical exam their lab so all of these are going to be filled out before you go see the patient or, or before you present the patient i should say you have a section for your assessment and plan pretty much that's just the problem list anything that has been updated or changed and then are to do and so this will allow us to kind of keep track of these patients and be able to to update them and so if you ever don't remember you can kind of go back and look at okay uh you know my first patient this was what happened on the first day so what happened on the second day, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Um, if I wanted to look at their labs and compare, oh, I'm on day four today, but I wanted to see, oh, what were they initially or even what were they when they first got admitted, then I can quickly flip through those on rounds and you'll have to go through the computer and kind of fumble around. In addition, you'll have all your patients here at one time. So if you're seeing multiple patients, this is going to be pretty uh, helpful in terms of keeping organized. So really, it's not a matter of which one's better. It's more of what's your purpose. So each of these notebooks have a very specific purpose. And so kind of going through what is your need in terms of the inpatient, outpatient, ED, things of that nature. And you can kind of tailor to what notebook you may need in different settings. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards, scrub notes. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.